Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> when I hear a Prime Minister talking about difficult decisions, what always happens afterwards in these contexts is the, pe the poorest lose out in our society. Yeah. 4.3 million disabled people are now in poverty. 50,000 were hit by appalling cuts to the Employment Support Allowance benefit alone last year. This government labelled disabled people scroungers. It called those unable to work skivers. It created... It created a hospital... Order! Order! Carl... Order. I don't need any advice from the Home Secretary. He should seek to discharge his own obligations in his office to the best of his ability. I require no advice from the Right Honourable Gentleman on the discharge of mine. Be clear about that. Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. This Government also created a hostile environment. Mr Speaker, this, this Government created a hostile environment for the Windrush generation. When the UN rapporteur said British compassion for those who are suffering has been replaced by a punitive, mean-spirited and callous approach, he couldn't have summed up this contemptible Government any better. Yeah. Child poverty is rising. Homelessness yeah. rising. Yeah. Destitution rising. Household debt rising. When will the Prime Minister turn her warm words into action, end the benefit freeze, repeal the bedroom tax, scrap the two-child cap and halt the rollout of universal credit? Prime Minister! The, the Right Honourable Gentleman referred to the poorest losing out. I'll tell him when the poorest lose out. It's when a Labour government comes in. It's a, it's a... Order! 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 The finger-pointing and yelling and braying must stop. I understand that passions are running highly, but on both sides of the House, we need to have some sense of decorum. The Prime Minister. It's when a Labour government comes in. What this government has done, we've introduced the national living wage. Conservatives, not Labour. We've taken, we've taken millions of people out of paying tax altogether. Conservatives, not Labour. Under this government, 3.3 million jobs have been created. Every Labour government leaves office with unemployment higher than when it went into office. So what do we see under this government? Our economy is growing, employment is rising, investment is up. We're giving the NHS the biggest single cash boost in its history. Taxes are being cut. Wages are rising. Labour would destroy all that. It's this Conservative government that's building a brighter future for our country. Helen Waitley. Thank you, Mr Speaker. 